The factor market is the opposite of the product market. It is hard to think of everything in reverse after spending so much time on the product market. Make sure you concentrate as you move through each concept and take really good notes. You need to memorize the circular flow diagram. It shows up more in macro, but it can show up in micro as well. Remember that businesses earn revenue or receipts and households earn income in return for supplying resources to business firms. In the factor market, you will learn two models, perfect competition and monopsony. A monopsony is like a monopoly, but it is a single buyer of a resource, so the wage it pays will be lower than the marginal revenue product of a resource. In the assignment, you complete a chart to answer the first question. If you get stuck, marginal product of labor is found by subtracting the total product of one worker from the total product of the next worker. Total revenue is product times price. To find marginal revenue, subtract the total revenue from one worker from the total revenue of the next worker. Subtract 48 from marginal revenue product of labor and you get the change in profit. In the second question, you don't have the monopsony chart. To answer the question, state how the wages and number of workers compare to the perfect competition. Does the monopsony hire more, fewer, or the same number of workers? And does it pay more, less, or the same as a perfect competitor? Lesson 4.03 has a lot of information in it. Learn the terms on the introduction page. The things that cause a change in resource demand are productivity of the resource, prices of other resources, and derived demand. These change the MRP of labor and cause demand to increase or decrease. You also learn about economic rent, the difference between what you pay for a resource and what you could pay. If I am willing to work for $100 and I get paid $300, my economic rent is $200. On the quiz, assume that you are working from D1, MC1 equals S1, unless otherwise directed. In Lesson 4.04, .04, you will be drawing a monopsony graph showing how a union would impact wages. A union does not set a minimum wage. Just graph the highest wage a union would try to get. It won't be where S equals MRP, as that is where a perfect competition would hire. The example is for the NCAA. It's not a good example, but just roll with it. Financial markets present the toughest lesson of all. The financial market brings buyers and sellers of financial assets together, provides capital for firms and the government, provides a place for entrepreneurs to invest, and allows households to save in a safe manner. Make sure you learn how to calculate the least cost combination of resources as instructed at the end of the lesson. The live lesson on this content is fabulous. If you are able to attend, it will certainly clear up some issues with the math and graphs in the product market. Now it's time to get to work on the lessons. Be sure to contact your instructor if you have any questions.